Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Lou. It's a movie starring Allison Janney, uh, who I mostly know from The West Wing. I don't know what else she's been in, but that's where I know her from. Uh, and some other mother chick who I haven't seen anything else. And the dude from Upgrade, like the main character dude. So I'm glad he's getting more work. Hopefully he'll get more hero work, too. So, as always, I'm going to give the good, the bad, and the furry. To start off the furry, uh, her dog Jax, uh, I think is a pretty important character. Like, he he is a definitely well-trained dog, and I think that he factors in quite a bit. And uh, But that's about it in terms of, of furry. But he, I think, is furry enough for the movie. So, moving on. Uh, this movie is about... So, Lou, uh, it's set in, like, the 80s, whenever the Iran-Contra bullshit thing happened. Uh, that's when this is set. And... Um, I think that functions well to the story to make it uh, work because there's not like, oh, there's cell phones and satellite coverage everywhere, so we can do whatever we want. Uh, so it's nice that it's set in the past, but it's also with historical events and like you could, I can believe that this is actually, that this actually occurred. Um, it does not say based on true story or anything, but I can just, I can see it actually happening. Um, so basically, Al Allison Janney's character, she's in a relatively small town. Everybody kind of knows her, but she's still, you know, crotchety and ornery and, you know, to everybody uh, for the most part and it's clear that she is getting ready to to just end her existence she's you know she's doing all the planning getting ready to go um, and then they cut to like whoo now we're gonna we're gonna show you all that and then um, so it turns out that her neighbor slash um, renter so the person who's renting whatever place from her uh, her kid gets kidnapped by the father, who's clearly a crazy person, uh, with probably some military training, and, um, so she's, like, got her finger on the trigger, and then the chick busts in, it's like, ah, I need your phone to call 911, and so then it is the, um, so then she's just like, all right, let's go get him, and so it works because, uh, there's a big old storm happening, and so that's why some of the other things don't work, and then also it's the 1980s, so they don't have some of the other things that you would think of in today's day and age, and they go and pursue the dad. And I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I loved Allison Janney's character, so Lou. I thought that she had great depth. And I just, I definitely buy every minute that she's on screen because she is just an amazing actress. And I, I loved seeing her play this kick-ass chick um, who also has just, you know, had, had some rough bits. And I, I liked... I liked the hand thing that she had going on. Like, I thought that was a really interesting addition. I think that it worked for the story, and I liked that, you know, they don't they don't ever explain more of, of that, and you don't need to explain it, because it just, it works with the character, and you can kind of make some assumptions. Um, but it was very enjoyable. I think that the, the kid was, kid was okay. Uh, I can see why they didn't have a whole lot of scenes with the kid in it, because uh, there was a couple things, like, mid point that's just like, ooh... Keep your eyes where they're supposed to be, kids, but whatever. Um, it was fine. It didn't disrupt things too much because she wasn't on screen all that much. Um, the mother was good. Hadn't seen her anything else. Cool. Um, sure it'll go well. Uh, but it just, you know, whatever. Uh, the, the, the guy from Upgrade, I thought he did a really good job. Um, he, he plays that character really, really well, and I liked seeing, again, his depth to it, so... Uh, Discount Tom Hardy's doing real, real good, and he, I hope he keeps it up, because he is just, oh, I, he's real close to being always a win, um, <laughs> but he, he is fantastic in this, and the pacing was good, I would say that this is a little bit more, so it's not, it's not John Wick, where she's out and kicking everybody's ass and doing awesome, super cool martial art things, um, there are some fights that occur, but I would say that it's much more akin to, like, Rambo First Blood in that like they're in the wilderness and there's being a pursuit and it's more about that than about like hand-to-hand -hand combat and about having cool things and long extended fight sequences or whatever it's more about that kind of a survival-esque thing and having those small close close in fights and I thought that was uh, a good use for it and um, I know that Alice and Janie is a relatively older female of you know not that not she she's not like super duper duper buff um for a for a female but i thought that all of the fight scenes that she was in and all the activity that took place i bought that she was 
doing those moves against those people and succeeding or failing as the as the fight happened. Like I didn't think that it was just like, oh really, an eighty nine pound female is gonna take out Dave Batista? Like I'm not saying he's in this, but you get the idea. I thought that they did it well in a way that made sense for her in the very realistic world that they had set up for this. Like it's basically like they straight up set it in real world time frames and periods and whatnot. So there's no like Superman or Superwoman doing things. Um, the music, there wasn't a whole lot of it that I, that I like, was like, oh, there's music going on. But a couple of times that it did, I thought they played it very well. Um, really the only thing that I think was not the, not the best about this was the, um, there was a couple times when, like, things were happening at what should have been basically the same time, but in this shot over here, when on this character or characters, it's raining super hard and darker, and then you come over here, and it's not raining, or it's raining really lightly, and it's a lot brighter out. But this is clearly supposed to be at the same time. And, like, you could argue that, like, yeah, actual rainstorms have that, like, well, there could be a super rain here, and then right across the street, there's no rain type of thing. Like, yes, that could happen, but it felt more like an editing issue, <laughs> or, like, they wanted to change what time frames were, or they, like, kind of reorganized things. That's more so what it felt like than an intentional, like, oh, well, we're trying to show that it's heavier rain over here and lighter rain over here. So, um, but other than that, I thought it all uh, went quite well, and what little CGI there was was fine, because, like I said, there's not a whole lot of it. It's much more of a um, in, the, in the moment type of thing, and, you know, props for them. I'm sure that those filming conditions, because it rained basically the whole movie, um, and having to film in those conditions, I'm sure it was not fun for anybody, let alone uh, a person who's, you know, relatively older than some of the other stars that she's with. So uh, props to them, and uh, just a fantastic movie. I think you should check it out if you like some of the uh, the lone wolf with the crotchety old person with a, uh, you know, just mystery involved and in getting to explore more of the characters. Uh, I I enjoyed the plot, and I did not find it too, you know, predictable or annoying or slow or fast or whatever like it was good pacing and good plot overall it's not gonna blow your socks off with with that but it was good and i enjoyed it and i think you should watch it so that's all i have for this one thanks for coming thanks for watching hope to see you the next one bye